Well, my name is Claudine Diamonds. I love telling people the stories behind the paintings because all of them have a story. I never really took an art class, but a lot of my family are artists. My first experience with art is my dad was a really, really talented artist, although he, he wasn't an artist. Um, so I would have competitions with him. He always beat me. Um, I started with acrylic because, you know, it was, it was cheap and I was scared uh, to use watercolor because it seemed to be a less forgiving medium. Then I decided I wanted to do oil, so I, I did some oil paintings, and I still do have some oil paintings, and I may do some oil paintings in the future, but it takes so long to dry, and I'm very impatient. I decided to start to work on paper, um, and when I did that, I grabbed watercolor. Uh, and I started doing some intuitive paintings. Uh, I'm surrounded by a garden. My mother made this garden. I was sitting in the garden one day and, and I said, well, wouldn't it be neat if I collaged with botanicals and then painted on top of that? I mean, what would that look like? So I went out into the garden and started clipping pieces of, of you know, fern and, and vines and, and things of that nature, and I started printing those. Yes. You can put collage on canvas, but wooden panels just take more of a beating, and it's it's tougher. So you know, I could take it and I could try to get the wrinkles out by you know using a palette knife to to flatten it out. The series that I just made, it has collage papers in it, and then I painted I painted flowers on top of it, and it's called Flowers on the Terrace. I usually. When I'm finished with a painting, most, the majority of them, I obsess over for a couple of days. Like I'll take a picture and I'll look at it and I'll be like, that's really good. And I'll look at it and I'll be like, that's really good. And then I'll paint another one and I'll forget all about <laughs> the last one. And my son's 34, he lives in Florida. When he drew a helicopter at two and I knew what it was, I was like, oh, you're gonna be an artist, but he fooled me. And then my daughter is 22. She works at the foyer. She wants to be interior designers. And my daughter has been my muse. Um, I mean, there's so many paintings of her. They both have art, my art hanging in their house. My daughter has, uh, said, she said, I have no appreciation for the price of art because I get mine for free. <laughs> I, I haven't really gotten a lot of negative reactions from my art. I, I know that some people do, but I, I make happy art. You know, there's a there's there's a lot of things in this world that that could get you down, but I want to pe see people smile when they look at my art. I like to see the joy that I feel making it mirrored in the faces of the people that are looking at it. It's special for me.